Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on Anatomy and Physiology of Heart. Heart is a muscular pump. Its function is to pump the oxygenated blood to each and every part of the body. Now heart contains four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. Now contraction is known as systole, relaxation is known as diastole. Now physiologically heart can be classified as left half and right half, left heart and right heart. Left atria and ventricle contains oxygenated blood whereas right atria and ventricle contains deoxygenated blood. This is why some of the textbooks show left part of the heart red in color whereas right half of the heart blue in color. Blue indicates deoxygenated blood, red indicates oxygenated blood. Let us understand about cardiac circulation. Now when left ventricle contracts, it contains oxygenated blood. When it contracts, blood is drained to iota. Iota is the biggest artery in human body. From the iota, blood reaches to each and every part of the body. Iota to arteries, arteries to arterioles. So all the body parts get oxygenated blood. When the oxygen is drained to the tissues and cells, blood becomes deoxygenated. It gets into the venules, veins and reaches to vena cava. Vena cava is the biggest vein in the human body. Like iota for artery, vena cava is for veins. So all these veins contains deoxygenated blood and they drain the blood to heart. You have two vena cavas are there, inferior vena cava, superior vena cava. Superior vena cava drains deoxygenated blood from head and neck regions. Inferior vena cava drains deoxygenated blood from the lower parts of the body. So all this blood is drained to right atria. When right atria contracts, the blood drains down to right ventricle. See right atria and right ventricle, both of them contains deoxygenated blood. Now this deoxygenated blood, when right ventricle contracts, the blood is drained to lungs with the help of pulmonary artery. So this pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood and it drains to lungs. In the lungs, gases exchange occurs. The carbon dioxide from the blood is drained out. Oxygen is exchanged to it. So blood contains oxygen and this oxygenated blood again gets into left atrium. Left atrium by pulmonary veins. This pulmonary veins contains oxygenated blood. So when left atrium contracts, blood gets into left ventricle. Again, when left ventricle contracts, blood gets into iota. This is how the circulation goes on. Now, see, blood in the heart goes in one direction, unidirection. From arteries, when they contract, blood drains to ventricles. When ventricle contracts, blood either gets into pulmonary uh, artery or when left ventricle contracts, blood drains into iota. So, this unidirectional flow is enabled by valves. On the right side, you have tricuspid valve. On the left side, you have bicuspid valve or mitral valve. Iota, you have aortic wall. In lungs, you have, uh, for pulmonary uh, artery, you have pulmonary wall is there. So this is about walls. Now understand one more thing. See, arteries drain the blood away from heart. Iota takes blood away from the heart. Pulmonary artery takes blood from right heart to lungs, away from the heart. So don't think that arteries always carry oxygenated blood. The job is it takes blood away from the heart. Pulmonary artery contains deoxygenated blood too. Veins takes the blood towards the heart. Veins drains the blood into the heart. All the veins contain deoxygenated blood. Again, pulmonary vein contain oxygenated blood which is drained from lungs to heart. So this is there. Valves and uh, blood vessels. And then coming to certain things like see, blood which is going to the lungs, coming out of the lungs, this part is known as pulmonary circulation. Whereas blood which is coming out of iota and draining to heart by vena cava, this part is known as systemic circulation. Pulmonary systemic circulation. Now, some of the important terms cardiac output. See, output means what is coming out of the heart. Cardiac means heart. So, so every minute heart pumps blood out of the heart. This is known as cardiac output. See, blood is pumped by especially to the systemic circulation, it is by left ventricle. So, the amount of blood ejected by left ventricle per minute is known as cardiac output. Next word stroke volume. See, stroke means one contraction. With one contraction, how much amount of blood coming out of the heart is known as stroke volume. Usually in a healthy adult male, it is 70 ml. So per one stroke, 70 ml of blood comes out of the heart. So this is the core concepts of uh, heart anatomy and physiology. Thank you.